How's it going guys, Mick here, welcome back to All About Tech. So I recently picked up an M1 MacBook Air, this is the base model. Um, I just wanted something where I could do video editing on the move, on the go. And obviously now that I have this device, and I'm really impressed with it so far by the way, I am obviously in the market for a Thunderbolt 3 dock or a hub or something along those lines. Uh, for when I do sit at the desk, I want to be able to connect it to my display. Now, I've stumbled across an article on um, eshop.maxsales.com and the author is a guy called Tim over at OWC. OWC make Thunderbolt uh, enabled devices. He goes into, um, it's a really informative piece of information about the Thunderbolt buses and how they work because the MacBook Pro 13 inch M1 has been um, criticized for only having two ports. However, you will find that there's little uh, difference to whether you have a two port version or a four port version. There's two physical more ports, but the way um, it works is, so on the Intel version with the four ports, you have four Thunderbolt 3 ports and you have a bus each side. So two ports are sharing the bandwidth of that Thunderbolt 3 bus. That means that if you've got two things connected to it, it's sharing the bandwidth. You're not gonna get the full 40 gigabit, up to 40 gigabit connection speed. On the uh, M1 line, and that, this is on all three of them, including the MacBook Air, because I've checked, what you can do is you can go into about this Mac and go into the system report section, scroll down until you hit the Thunderbolt, the Thunderbolt section, um, and then you will see a Thunderbolt Zero, a Thunderbolt Bus Zero, and a Thunderbolt Bus One. That means that even though it's got two ports less, you're not sharing the bandwidth, which means you get the full 40 gigabit connection on each port, which means you can simultaneously connect two devices. You can connect a hub on one side, you can do your, your whatever you want on the other side, and you won't share the bandwidth. You won't, um, be compromised in in the performance of each of those ports no matter what you connect to it which leaves the question do you need a four port macbook if this was a deciding factor for you uh, for your purchase decision th this this shows that you're not actually benefiting much from having a four port macbook the majority of people are going to use a hub with it anyway which gives you more ports the only thing I would find it beneficial for is to be able to charge the device either side. It's really not a deal breaker and it doesn't need to be a deal breaker. I just thought I'd make this quick video because it's, I think this is really important information that needs to be shared. I'll leave a link to the article so you can go check it out for yourself. Um, again, if you've got a um, an Intel Mac, uh, an Intel uh, based MacBook, go to that system, uh, system report on the About My Mac section do it on your M1 Mac and you'll see that each port has a separate bus on the M1 Max. It is an important piece of information because if you are hung up on the fact that it only has two ports, this, this, this kind of eliminates that because all you have to do is insert a hub into one port on, on, on one side of the device and you have and you open yourself up for many more ports anyway. So that is just a very quick video of what I wanted to share with you guys just because I think I've only ever I've only seen one other YouTube video reference in this um, since I since I've seen the article um, and I just wanted to have a little dig around to see if other people know about this um, I've not seen much so I thought I'd just make a quick video for you guys just so just so it's out there and um, sorry if you already knew but um, this will be a, a, a bit a bit this was like a big deciding factor for a lot of people um, not being able to have a, a, a four port MacBook Pro. This kind of eliminates that need. Um, you're getting full 40 gigabit bandwidth no matter which one you go for because it's two ports per, per, per bus on the Intel versions. One port per bus on the, on the M1 Max, full 40 gigabit connection, both ports, can't go wrong. Um, so yeah, I've been Mick from All About Tech. Sorry if this was a bit of a waffly on and I've repeated things. I just think it's a very important thing to, 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 to know and understand when making this purchasing decision. Um, I've got a ton more content on the M1 MacBooks coming up. 
really impressed with it so far. Um, I've been Mick from All About Tech. I hope you like this video. If you, if you found it helpful at all, drop a like, it really helps. Uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys out in the next one.